I started working as a barman right there. I started working as a barman right there. And yeah, I got inspired a lot by the Rangers coming back every time after a game drive. And whenever I used to serve drinks, the guests used to tell them tell me about uh, what they saw and all of that, and all the special sightings. I got put on a course to as a at Ulovane Environmental Training uh, School here in Amakala as well. From there, yeah, I studied for ten weeks, ten weeks course, two and a half months. Yeah, then from there, yeah, I graduated, which was very nice, and I had very, I had a very good time there as well. I learned quite a lot there as well, quite a lot. Wow, okay, there's quite a lot of things, all right. Um, first first week, I still remember we learned about the vehicle, all right, what to do, how to handle a vehicle, big vehicle, how to use a high lift jack, and uh, how to, yeah, a lot of things about the vehicle. Then from there, we moved on to uh, learning the animals, different types of animals, then from up to amphibians to a whole lot of things, up to climate and weather, and constellations as well to the grass botany all of that there's quite a lot to up to animal behavior as well it's just quite a lot you have to put like you have to be serious about what you're doing in order for you to get through there otherwise if you don't have passion for it you'll just drop down halfway there wow it's a lion hunt a lion hunt i was out with uh few guests and we were driving then yeah i heard about the sighting on the on the on the on the radio so we went there but the other vehicles already pulled out so we were the lucky ones to get to see the the kill because they'd be lying down but when we got there we were busy hunting hunting but they managed to get a war talk in the middle of the road so we saw it all ah oh, everything everything the nature most of it and the people that you meet basically for me for me it's the joy that i see on my guests that are put on my guest face and coming back with a very big smile and wanting to come back again oh i feel like one of the lucky ones yeah i feel like one of the lucky ones my family's pretty happy because I also get to put something on the table as well. <laughs> well, for example, like I've been picked for as one of the um, candidates, all right? So most of the people that, are, that have been around me, they've been asking how did I get in and how can they get in as well. And most of them, they look up to me. Even the older people, they look up to me. I'm like, yo... Okay, this is quite a lot of pressure, but um, I try to I try to find ways for them to actually um, try go out the way as well to study for themselves because you can actually also study yourself on the side. Okay, it's a very very good question. Okay, and hopefully I have a very good answer for that. Um, but basically, a field guy plays quite a huge role as well in the in the in the out here in nature because what a field guide is is basically the link it's the key between nature itself and the people who don't know uh, of about what's going on in nature and what happens and why it happens and why are some things you need to let them happen or you see and not interfere but basically a field guide is uh i'd say a teacher uh yeah a teacher uh, which teaches the uh, the guests everything tells people quite a lot about nature and makes them open their mind and see the nature in a different way yeah come along guys this is the best job you could ever have eh? this is the best career you could ever have um so yeah guys just for you guys to know as well being a field guide is is a lot of responsibility uh, and also you will have a lot of fun, but also you must also remember that you are the key to letting people know what's happening between nature 
and human beings and where they should draw the line and appreciate more of the of nature so yeah come on be the key man <laughs>